Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here, and this is a sponsored Chess Rush video. So, Chess Rush is the latest in auto chess games. Uh, it is a mobile only game right now, and uh, the main reason I want to bring this game to you guys is it offers a lot of new features that uh, many of the other games don't have, and it's very interesting to see how this genre evolves as a whole, and it's typically going to be through games like this one. Most of the other auto chess games are very vanilla. They don't really uh, have too many new things in terms of new features, but this one has some pretty cool stuff So I'm going to show you and if you guys do want to check it out Please use my link below it does help me out if you do that So right now what you're seeing is uh, not the main game mode The first thing that you might notice if you're checking out chess rush is that there's actually uh, Three game modes that you can play multiple game modes auto chess. I've talked about it for a while These guys seem to have you know pushed the button on it um, it's it's a feature that they have right on launch. The game is out full version right now And it launched with three game modes you can play the normal game mode Which I did a few times just to kind of get practice and see what's up and what you're looking at right now is turbo so turbo game mode is um, you see everyone has 60 maximum health that's down from 100 so you don't have as much health as you normally do and you get a lot more um, the gold system in this game I believe is called gems it's that like purple thing there to the top right and the top bar you see plus seven it tells you how much you're gonna make uh, next round how about that you see the full player listing on the right there and you can even see how much gold every single one of them has at any given time and the dude next to the gem thing on every opponent is how many people that they can um, they can put out so you have a lot of information at all times it's not like much of a nuisance to go around and spy on everyone all the time to keep track of these things. Um, the amount of information on the screen uh, I think is 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 quite good now with that said, in turbo mode, uh, things get pretty crazy. Um, mechanics like the interest, so you still get like one one extra gem, one extra gold, whatever, for every 10 that you have, but that's not as um, impactful because you're getting uh, double the amount of um, uh, gems otherwise per round, and I believe you're getting uh, a few other bonuses as well. So everything is sped up. You have lower health. Um, you know, stacking up and you know banking on interest as you would normally do doesn't really work in this game mode. So even though the core mechanics of the game are actually basically the same as the normal version, um, when you play turbo mode, uh, everything's a little bit different. See the mana crystals. You get plus two for a win instead of plus one. The basic is plus nine, so you get tons of gold and you have less health so the game is completely different when played just because of this game mode and the third game mode is co-op and I'll show you guys a little bit of footage from that one at the end so you've seen kind of this progress it's a very fast-paced game this is actually one of the longest games that I played in turbo mode um, you get a lot of information on the screen even for the synergies you can see when you click on a unit you can see all the different types that it has so uh, you know werewolf is a very nice unit because he's a beast um, he is a human and he is a I forget actually anyway so he's got some cool stuff um, one thing that I've been pushing in terms of strategy I uh, haven't seen too many other people do it but I've actually won every single game that I've played in this game I think people are still figuring out riders boys riders is pretty nuts so riders gives a massive armor boost and a magic resistance boost but it's random and it's rolled per rider when the match starts so if you have like two riders it's actually pretty awful but when you have four it starts to get really good and when you have the bonus of six it's pretty insane that's the other reason i like riders there's actually seven riders in the game so you don't have to push to the last one you don't have to push to the uh, i think it's the the, the tier five rider you can get to all the way just to four and you can roll a lot as a result of doing that uh, the main strategy if you're going to try this build uh, comes from uh, stacking the uh Okay, I don't know the name of the units, guys. Uh, but it, 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 she does like an auto attack. She's the only rider that I have in the back line there. You can see her there. She's always topping my damage meters. Um, she basically throws like a glaive thingy and uh, it chains constantly. So it does a decent bit of damage. And when you put extra items on her, she just does tons of extra damage. 
Uh, you can see what your opponents are using. It seems my opponent was using some kind of like casters. Again, I don't know the units too well. Uh, I lose a few of the early rounds because uh, the rider bonus doesn't really scale up that well until later in the game, and you can't stack your uh, your your main damage carry again until a little bit later in the game. But this strategy has treated me well. I think I've played six games total and have won every single one of them. Not uh, all in on riders, but certainly riders played a part in every single one of my games. Ice Tusk, that's the main guy there. He uses a very nice tank. Uh, he has a lot of HP. One thing that I've noticed is uh, in Chest Rush, you actually get a lot of HP when you star up the units. Now, um, in terms of damage, that can vary. So, um, you know, the damage might go up, might not go up very much. Honestly, with with, um, with the big brute there, his damage doesn't go up very much when you uh, two star him. But uh, he still does decent damage at one, still does decent damage at two. But his health like more than doubles uh, when you get him to two. So um, it seems that units get quite a bit more tanky when you star them up. Uh, much more so than other auto chest variants that I've seen. So there's a little bit of extra value in uh, rolling units. So the item system there, I kind of clicked through it a bit quickly. Uh, all the items that you get from the rounds or, you know, all that kind of stuff, it goes into that chest there on the right. And when you click on the chest, uh, it gives you a list of the items that you have and who they can actually affect upon equipping them. So um, the idea is, again, uh, as for most auto chess games, you kind of want to uh, stack at least one of your units, kind of like a damage carry. But the way that items work is uh, they don't, um, they only combine with um, the same item. So for example, if you get like a, like a magic resist item, you can put it on one of your guys. Let's say you get a second magic resist item, you can either put it on another person or you can combine the same item, making it more powerful. And there's typically four tiers for each item, and uh, this kind of basically pushes you to stack uh, units with the same items again and again. Typically, the fourth bonus is quite strong, uh, and in some cases, particularly with the damage items, it can get pretty ridiculous. And uh, we'll see that in this game. Um, it's gonna get it's gonna get pretty crazy in here. Just spying on my opponents there. Um, it's not too big of a deal because uh, one thing that I really like about anytime there's a new auto chess game, uh, people don't really know what's good. Um, so people are not like going for the same thing all the time. Now it might change. Uh, probably a lot of people are going to check out this game as a result of this video. Probably a lot of people are going to try Riders. So maybe you want to avoid that for a little bit. But in general, what I've seen throughout my games is that people are just playing their own thing, their own strategy. So it's really fun to do that when not everyone's chasing the same units. You can kind of get your strategy going. Um, also, even though we started with 60 health, um, you can you can see that the damage that we took is not very much. Um, the early game in in Chess Rush is very kind to your HP, but it does ramp up very quickly. The goal of the game is to kind of um, give you fast games, fast gameplay, certainly faster than the other auto chess games out there. But at the same time, it doesn't do that by giving you crushing defeats in the early game when you rarely have control over you know, your, your goal, your composition. And you have two star tusk, why not? Um, I think actually, yeah, I think it's actually a good idea to put him in. Um, again, two star units are particularly good for just soaking damage in this game. And you see me re-rolling, uh, just forget about interest. You get so much base gold, you get so much gold from winning, from win streaks, that you know a lot of the time you're literally just going to ignore the um, the interest bonus. Um, not entirely, it's still good to have some, but uh, yeah, it's certainly much more important to make use of your time and you know make decisions quickly. Um, the main thing is, uh, I don't believe you have less time per round. It's called turbo mode, but you, I don't believe you have less time per round. It's just you're getting so many more resources and you have a much higher incentive to spend them and you constantly have to adjust your comp because uh, you can't take that much damage because you start with a lower amount of health. So the dynamics are very interesting. There's a lot of uh, kind of uh, side synergies that I've noticed. Um, there's the beast there. The beast gives you a little bit of extra damage. Um, but a lot of the other ones tend to affect just the, tr the, uh, the, the synergies themselves. Uh, human is actually a really good one. Um, 
human, if you have two humans, uh, you get five mana for uh, all of your units per human. But if you have four humans, whenever a human casts, they have a chance to get mana back and recast that spell. So, you know, the, the bonuses, like the tier one versus tier two bonuses for some of the tribes here um, are actually very interesting. They get really crazy. They're not like one dimensional. It's not like, you know, do this and then do a stronger of the same thing. Some of the synergies are like that, but uh, a lot of them uh, work the other way where they offer uh, almost entirely different bonuses. Uh, there you can see piercing dagger level 3, attack speed, attack speed, and then um, armor reduction. And this one has 15% chance to go 400% damage and you max it out. So you want to try to max those things if you can. Um, they do get pretty out of control near the end. I uh, get a two-star werewolf. Uh, again, I really like werewolf because uh, he has a bunch of tribes. Um, he's a human. And speaking of that human thing, um, human, because I think you get five mana regen for each human, if you have at least two, having three humans is actually pretty valuable. The way that they've set it up is um, you you can have like two and get the bonus, but if you have three, you still get more from it because it, it's a per unit basis. I'm starting to get my strategy underway here. I got Knights 4, Beast 2, Human 2. Um, I'm gonna need, uh, I think, level 8 to really get everything going. And I believe the riders that I'm missing, um, well, I think I have the um, have a rider on the bench there, but he is a two, uh, tier 2 unit, and I, I only have him at 1 star, so I'm not, I'm kind of reluctant to put him in. Uh, I pulled a demon with uh, with Warlock. Uh, I thought I'd just try the character. Um, ooh, Unicorn Cavalier, that's the unit there. Uh, so Unicorn Cavalier, I finally got it to two star. That was my damage carry. So right now I'm tied for second place in the game, but finally I two starred my damage carry. Okay, so like now things are actually gonna start working pretty well for me. Uh, I decided to try putting the, the Demon Warlock in uh, just to see if it does any kind of significant damage. See the Rider's bonus. Demon bonus, as you may expect, as you know, similar. There's the human mana regen bonus, very interesting. So, um, another nice feature, DPS meter, real time, all the time. Um, and you basically can see, it's, it's, it's very simple, yet it gives you a lot of information. And a lot of the information that I gathered is the, uh, the demon that I just put in, uh, kind of sucks. Uh, if you see the, the proportions of the damage, the uh, Cavalier's doing way, way more damage. It's probably better that I just have more tanks than, you know, another demon doing like, you know, 15 to 20 percent. So, yeah, forget about it. Uh, let's get that in there. Um, again, good to get the beast bonus. And I think it's time to reroll. Like, I'm at 40. I probably need a level. Yeah, so we level up. Um, just get another knight in there. Uh, Cavalier? Cavalier. Uh, typically when I'm playing the auto chess games, I try not to go for like three stars on everything, but I know that some of the units are, you know, exceptional if I do get them to three. So in this game, those, um, those Tusk dudes, um, I got two of them at two stars, so I figure I might as well get those to three. Uh, but the main thing that I'm doing with this strategy, with the rider strategy, I'm trying to get my uh, Unicorn Cavalier to three star. That's, that's the main one, because the damage just skyrockets like crazy. Um, and again, um, because people are typically doing their own thing, you're not going to get blocked off that much from just, you know, going all in and trying your own special strategy. All right, front line of riders um, disrupted a little bit. I figure, uh, I, even though it doesn't have any items, another Cavalier will probably add more to my team um, than otherwise not. In terms of the opponents, you see that now that we have like eight units, now that we have units with multiple stars, people are starting to get pretty knocked out. Uh, this is the stage where you want your uh, end game strategy to start rolling out, otherwise you're going to lose. Damage starts to ramp up pretty quickly here, guys. Um, like, look at that, 8-0. You can see the scrolling text. You can see what happens all the time. Again, lots of... 
you know, crucial information on the screen at all times. So I killed them with eight units left. Uh, most of my guys have multiple stars, so I'm doing like crushing damage. Now you see, uh, it, it, it gives you a visual indicator for uh, units that you own multiple copies of. I wasn't planning on getting Calamity 3, but I mean, I got three there, I already got a two star in play. So why not? I figure maybe, maybe it'll happen. I don't know. Um, I'm mostly going for the Unicorn Cavalier and uh, the Tusk is, is one off right now. So I figure I'll probably get that. But yeah, we're 15 minutes into the game and we're at a stage where people, even in the last few uh, matches, you can start knocking them out. Oh, another dagger. Ooh, Ice Tusk, boys. This is a big one. You also get the, the combined thing. You get like a combined button on the bottom there. So you can combine if you want, but you don't have to combine. There's some strategies in not combining. Um, so, you know, in terms of features, in terms of control, in terms of the information that's on the screen, uh, this game certainly impresses when compared to the others uh, in the auto chess genre. So hope you guys see a lot of the cool stuff that I've been talking about at the start of the video. Um, and I hope you guys see my strategy role out here and get those unicorn cavaliers get them going with their damage all right uh, so my opponents are doing some kind of caster teams and um, the the riders again not all of them are going to get the uh, magic resistance armor buff but at least a number of them are going to get it so i ended up beating them there but you know it's a little bit of luck um if my Unicorn Cavalier doesn't get the Armor Magic Resist buff, she'll probably die to casters, and then my damage will probably be a bit on the low side, possibly too low to even finish the game. So, we'll see about that. Uh, just picking up some units. I didn't want to spend all, all the way down, but maybe I should. Again, at this stage, we're just about to, um, you know, knock some people out. Uh, I ended up getting the Rider 6 bonus. Um, get the human bonus still with with the mana three humans again quite a bit better than two humans a lot of casters you can see the riders that didn't get the um, the armor buff basically falling to pieces uh, there's a little bit of RNG in this game but not quite as much as uh, as a lot of the other chess games um, we'll have to see about that killing off some dudes in first place I'm at 36 uh, one guy's at like I think 30-ish, and when I was at like 11, uh, I think if I get a little bit more power, um, I possibly can knock people out completely, so. Uh, Misfortune, Undead Warlock, uh, the Undead bonus gives uh, armor reduction to all the enemies, so it's, it's not too bad. Um, I end up removing the werewolf for it. Um, it's a bit unfortunate because he offers a lot, but I figure... If I can kill my opponent's squishy units uh, a little bit faster, it'll help with mitigating damage. So, uh, does it work out? Well, it's still a really close fight. Uh, but I'm one Unicorn Cavalier away from three-starring my, my main damage carry, and uh, there it is. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think this is going to end too, too well for most of these guys. So, Unicorn Cavalier level three. Uh, it's, it's time to level the playing field. And only as much these guys can do against this team. I won't let you down. Actually, from what I've seen, I don't think there's anything anyone can do against this team. If you have enough items. And uh, I do have some pretty good items in this round as well. I don't know what I'm rolling for. Oh, I'm rolling for, uh, yeah, getting uh, <laughs> uh, Dragoon. Alright, we're full level 2 with 2 level 3s. And we have a absolutely insanely stacked damage carry that's also quite tanky. Look at that damage meter fly. Look at that. It's just it's just madness. Unicorn Cavalier. Dagger four, critical two. Six win streak. Seven zero. He's down. The other guy lost to the other guy. And we're a champion. That's right. Now, the other game mode I want to quickly highlight for you guys so you get some idea of the different play modes that Chess Rush offers. So there's a traditional game mode, there's Turbo, which is the game mode that I just showed you guys, which is just a faster paced game with slightly different strategies. And also co-op. This is what you're watching right now. Co-op is very interesting because it's basically the, the same game, but 
a small rule change makes some pretty interesting decision making. So basically, um, you're kind of teamed up with someone. Um, you're, you still function as a single player. You'll just never face off against the person that you're teamed up with. Okay, so instead of like a you know eight player game, you're one v seven. It's an eight player game, but you're one versus six. If that makes some kind of sense. And you also share some of the units. So you see those units on the left side of the board there. You place two units in those slots and your teammate, the person you're not up against, does the same. And you get to use those. Those, those units deploy upon every match that is played. Um, and this creates some really interesting strategy because you actually are kind of required to constantly scout your teammate because it's not just, you know, you know, you give them your most powerful unit. The synergies off of the co-op units actually work so giving your opponent that like you know sixth rider or giving him like that you know that fourth human or something like that that can be pretty cool so lots of cool stuff in this game if you guys want to check it out it's totally free to play it doesn't have any kind of pay to win features anything like that it's just pure good old fun so check it out use my link if you do and I'll see you guys in the next video if you guys check out chess rush and you end up loving it don't miss out on their first big tournament. It's the Chess Rush Global Star Challenge that's happening on the July 27th weekend. You guys can see some pro level plays there.